Hello you lovely bunch of people, today I'm going to show you how to take a still image like this and turn it into a video like this or an image like this and turn it into a video like this. This is stable video diffusion and it's free. It can take any image whether it's prompted or regular photo and turn it into cool video. Look at these cute little birds. Just look at these amazing results here. Oh and stick around, in the end of the video I'm going to show you an AI art contest with up to 13,000 US dollars in prizes. So scientists were keeping an eye on the Earth turn, but uh, after 24 hours they got bored and called it a day. AI. So before we get to using this, I'm gonna show you a little bit about what it is. Stable Video Diffusion is released by Stability AI and it's their first model for generative video. And it's, you know, based on the image model of Stable Diffusion, not surprisingly. As you can see here, you got a couple of examples of the model working. So all of these have been made with an image input. And it's adaptable to numerous video applications, multi-view synthesis from a, an image that can actually take this and turn it into well sort of a 3d model and you know get it to spin so you can see it from all the angles now there are two models available for this and we're going to look at both of them there's one for 14 frames and one for 25 frames so that's basically how long this generation will run now here's a, a comparison where, where they call something win rate so that's kind of a loosely based comparison uh, because you're actually asking people what they think is the best however from the people that they did this test with stable fusion or stable video diffusion came up on par with or on top of the competitors run, uh, Runway and Pika Labs. I mean obviously if, if Runway or Pika Labs would have made this comparison they probably skewed it so they won it. So you know take this with a grain of salt. Now here are two other examples and this is from Comfy. So this is already implemented into Comfy UI and you can download these workflows. I'm going to link them in my text and image Patreon guide as well that you can find in the descriptions below where everything is explained in more detail. All the files are available there. But I have to say these look pretty sweet. Now if you would load these workflows into your Comfy by the way, if you need Comfy installed, check my channel for that. I might even link it in the top right corner right now. If you drag and drop the workflow, you're going to have a pretty simple workflow here. So for many of my videos, I create a text and image guide that I put up on my Patreon for my subscribers. Here I go in depth with in detail about the settings and how to set everything up. So if you need something more in depth and detailed, check out the guide on my Patreon. We have a load image, we just upload an image and the preferred weight here is 1024 by 576. And then you can set your frames and how much it moves and the frame rate and all of that. You're gonna need to load the SVD models. So here I have the SVD 14 frames and SVD 25 frames. I'm gonna show you in a sec how to get them. And then we're running this into a SVD image to vid conditioning and the video linear CFG guidance through a K sampler and then you can see, you know, you get the output here. Now the default workflow has a different video combine node, but this is basically the same thing. I'm using VHS video combine instead because I get more options for formatting, stuff like that. Now let, let me show you how to get those models. So if you go into the links in the description, you're gonna, gonna get to the SVD model cards. They're gonna look something like this, and you're gonna have files and versions, and you're gonna have SVD XT safe tensors so the xt that's the 25 frame version so you're just going to download that and in the other link you have the non-xt version so just the svd safe tensors that's the 14 frame one so what i did when i download them is i put them in my models checkpoint folder and then i renamed them so the svd safe tensors i renamed to svd 14 frames and the svd xt i renamed to svd xt 25 frames and if you are using comfy you can put them in your models and the checkpoints and they should be in here it even says so put your checkpoints here now it is possible to load other images as well let's say that we take this one here of me standing around so this is a different format uh, let's just do a square one here so this is a size that this model is not trained for with the 14 frames model and if i queue this up it's going to start working here and i'm using a 4090 so i have a lot of vram however this can be done with an 8 gigabyte card now if you don't have 
a car that can support that, I recommend you to check out the Think Diffusion, where you can uh, pay for, for cloud GPU power for this. And as you can see here, if, even with this other resolution, so we have one resolution here, which is a vertical one, and then we have a square resolution here. So this is not optimal at all, but we're still getting an output that, you know, it kind of works. It's not fantastic, but neither is the input. But we have a camera pan here. We have me. I'm fairly stationary, but you can see the background here and it's moving. Now I've noticed that for the sampler, I've tried a couple of different ones. And in my experience, Euler works pretty well. I think it's, it's one of the better ones for stability diffusion. If you take my favorite one in general, Tum Keris, for example. Now, obviously this is a new seed, but uh, let me quickly show you here. Just found in general that Euler was you know, a good default model that I think you should probably stick with. You can experiment a little bit, but if it goes out of hand, you can go back to the Euler one. It actually gave me better results than Euler A. Now we had some luck with this one, so it kind of works. We're actually getting a little better movement in this one. So we have me actually moving a little bit with the camera here. So that works pretty well. So now I'm creating an image that we can use and take that into stable video diffusion. I have a close-up portrait of a warrior woman, long hair and full knight armor. Let's see if we can get that. Now these are all fairly s simple renders. I'm not really using a specific anime model or anything like this, but I think it's going to be quite okay to work with. So I'm going to take the second image here. I'm going to just drag that to my desktop. I'm going to go back into Comfy and we're going to load that up here. And we're going to raise the motion back bucket ID a little bit to get a, a little more motion into this. And uh, we are queuing here. So in our output here, we have some movement. It's basically just a zoom, but you can clearly see the character is separated from the background. Let's go a little crazy here. Let's raise the motion bucket even further. Let's just raise the augmentation level a little as well. And we are queuing a second generation, which would probably give us a lot more movement. And this is basically what happened, but our image kind of broke down. So we're going to go back and we're going to decrease the augmentation level again and just raise the motion here by a lot and cue this up again. So now our image shouldn't break and we should get a lot more motion. And as you can see, this is what happened. Our character is now looking good again. She's not moving herself, but background is moving a lot. So it's all a little hit and miss about what you're going to get for the motion because you can't prompt for it, but play around with it and see what you can do. Now, if you don't have eight gigabytes of VRAM or more, go into Think Diffusion launch the app, Comfy. If you want a quick one, just launch the turbo one. Startup is going to be a minute or two, and then you're going to get inside of Comfy, where you can load the workflow, and it's going to look the same as it is in my local install here. Now, if you feel that these workflows are too simple for you, there are more options. Now, OpenArt has a library of workflows for Comfy, and you can even sort them by category. So if we check here, for example, SVD, we're going to see all the workflows available for SVD. And if we select this one here, just as an example, we can see all the nodes available here. So this is a quick representation of what will look inside of your Comfy. So if you download this, and then we're just going to drag and drop this into our Comfy. You will probably get a message like this or even more. So you're going to go into the manager, install missing custom nodes, select this one here or whatever you have and press install. That will probably be the case for any new workflow that you find and you want to use. And it says here now to apply the install custom node, please restart Comfy UI. Sometimes it works just by pressing this little restart button here. If that doesn't work, you're going to have to stop your machine and relaunch it. And that's the same for your local version. Once you've restarted, all your nodes should be in working order. And if they are not, you're going to have to install the custom nodes manually if they aren't getting installed in the manager. Let's load a new image here. Take this one. Make sure that um, an SVD model is selected. Here we have SVD XT. I'm going to set this to 25 frames. And then we're just leaving the rest default here. And we are generating. So what basically happens is we get one combine from the original 
and then we are running sort of a high-res fix that upscales the image a little bit. So this is just one of many SVD workflows that you can find out there. So we can see here now that our first generation has come in. So this is a non-upscale or a non-iris fixed one. So we have a pretty good zoom here with the character and background separated. Now, if you don't want the little backgrounds and, and the colors broken up like this, you're gonna have to change from GIF to H264, for example. And now it continues on in uh, what the author of this workflow calls an AI upscale. We're gonna see that in the video combine here as well as soon as that is finished. And here's our final, let me zoom that in a little bit. So, I mean, this is pretty okay. Let's see how big this is. So this is 1432 by 800. So, I mean, you could probably upscale this quite a bit and still get it looking decent. So OpenArt is holding this Comfy UI workflow contest. And it's what I talked about previously in the video. So this is an award with a total prize pool of up to $13,000. And that's split into a lot of categories. So each category here says it will have three winners, 500 buckaroos each, and up to five honorable mentions, $200 each. So you have five categories. You have art, design, marketing, fun, and photography. And then you'll have a lot of special awards like best workflow with IP adapter, best workflow with anime diff, best workflow with stable video fusion, and it goes on and goes on. So if you have a workflow ready, you can basically upload it, get a chance to win 500 uh, smackaroonies. So, I mean, that's not too bad. Bear in mind, the workflows will be av available on OpenArt if you decide to compete in the challenge. So if you don't want them available to the public, well, then probably this isn't for you. And it's fairly simple. You just go to contest.openart.ai and then you have upload workflow here. That'll get you to this page here where you can just upload Comfy UI workflow. You're gonna drop your workflow right in here. Then you make sure that this box is selected here. I'm participating in the Open Art Workflow Contest. Name the workflow, Sebastian Super Mega Great Video Workflow 3K. 30K, sure, why not? And you decide what it's about, type here, drag and drop a thumbnail to your workflow, perhaps an image that you've created, upload and publish, and you're in the contest. Good luck.